Well, sea turtles have existed on this planet for millions of years. The oldest fossil record to date is about 150 million years old. So they're a, a species that's been here for a very long time. Uh, Florida has about five species that actually swim in the waters and nest here. And they all, during the nesting period, the females swim along the coast. And what they're looking for is light cues, basically. They're looking for a dark beach, a dark horizon. And this is what attracts them. And they usually go back to the same beach. Actually, they do go back to the same beach within 100 yards of the same nesting that they had the previous season or the previous uh, nesting during that season. They usually nest uh, two to three times a season. We know that lighting is incredibly important to sea turtles. The females, when they're looking for a beach to nest, they're actually looking for a dark horizon. And the reason the horizon of the beach is much darker is because the moon is reflecting off the water. So the water has a much brighter horizon than the beach. So the female actually heads toward the darkest horizon to nest. Now once she nests, the hatchlings hatch and come out of the nest, they're actually looking for basically the opposite. They're looking for the brightest horizon because they need to get to the open ocean which is where they, they're safe and they can survive. If they don't make it to the ocean, they will either dehydrate, they'll be eaten by predators, something along those lines. So they come up and they're immediately looking for the brightest horizon. Now, now that we know this, homeowners and businesses along the beach, by having lighting on the beach, you are basically confusing turtles. And what happens is called, the scientists call it disorientation, which is where the sea turtle becomes confused. So the, the adult female might lay her eggs and then head in the wrong direction and end up in a street or a swimming pool. The hatchlings might hatch and see a flicker of light up on the dunes and head in the wrong direction and never make it out into the ocean. So it is critical that the, the lights on the beach are the proper types of light or no light because it is incredibly important in the nesting process for both the female and the hatchlings. One main problem with the lighting is the use of flashlights onto the, on the beach at night. Since the nesting season occurs right at the peak of the tourism season in the north part of the state, a lot of people take flashlights onto the beach at night to chase crabs, do whatever they do. This has been a problem and there hadn't really been a good solution. Uh, my partner Jennifer and I sat down and brainstormed it and came up with an idea for an adhesive filter that you stick to the lens of the flashlight that actually filters out the negative wavelengths of light, which are going to be your shorter wavelengths. Scientists have found that the longer wavelengths, the deep reds and deep yellows, actually are not as distractive to sea turtles. So we came up with a, an adhesive filter that sticks to the front of the flashlight. We wanted to make it fun for kids, so we put the silhouette of a turtle on it. So a lot of times when you use it on a flashlight, it'll actually cast the silhouette of a red sea turtle onto the ground. And looking at the issue of lighting problems on the beaches, we decided that one of the best ways to address the issue is to basically bring it into the forefront and the communities around the state that have actually done this have had um, great economic benefits from it. You look at places like Juneau Beach, they have a sea turtle festival each year which brings in upwards of 25,000 people. So we started a commercial campaign this year, we're running about five commercials and we're doing a sea turtle awareness tour that went around the state and we had the musicians mom muse play and we're just trying to make it fun educating people basically bringing it to the forefront to hopefully encourage more community activities like this so the big question is why should humans care about sea turtles what what do sea turtles do that we should care so much about their survival Sea turtles are one of only a few animals that actually eat sea grasses and the sea grass beds are critical in the survival of many species of fish, crustaceans, and shellfish. They use these seagrasses for spawning, for nesting, and for the developmental stages. So by eating the seagrasses, the sea turtles actually cause these seagrass beds to come in much thicker and much healthier. Sea turtles are a resource that coastal communities cannot afford to lose because if we lose them, we stand to lose so much more.